This shocking video in our year long series DC police stop and frisk tonight. We've got new details in the case that po DC police officer caught on a cell phone camera performing what appears to be an illegal stop and frisk is now accused by the police department of a second inappropriate search on the very same day tonight. Investigative reporter Eric Flack brings the exclusive new revelations from outside the hearing where that officer is fighting to keep his badge. Prosecutors from the Attorney General's office say the two body searches by DC police officer Sean Logicono are eerily similar. The first caught on cell phone video went viral. The second never reported until now may cost Logicono his job. Just want to know why you think you should remain a DC police officer. I have no comment. DC Metropolitan Police Officer Sean Logicono facing tough questions Thursday as he appeals the department's decision to fire him for improper searches on DC residents. Do you feel like the actions that were seen on that video were just? <clears throat> Again, I have no comment. I'm about to go into my hearing, so everything that needs to be said will be said in there. WUSA 9 first showed you this video a year ago as part of our ongoing investigation, DC police stop and frisk. As we reported back then, that man, MB Cottingham, agreed to a light pat down after Officer Logicono asked him if he was carrying a weapon, which he was not. The officer can be seen aggressively and intrusively searching Cottingham, despite the man's repeated protests about where Logicono was putting his hands. Officer Logicono also did not have probable cause for that search, according to a review done by his district commanders. The city paid a six-figure settlement to Cottingham after he sued over the incident. And last September, D.C. police told us they were moving to fire Logicono. But today we learned, technically, Logicono wasn't fired for the search on Cottingham. He's being fired for a second search on a different man that happened less than 30 minutes after this one. Cameras aren't allowed in the hearing room where Officer Logicono is appealing his firing, but I was in there just feet from Logicono when the body-worn camera video of that second incident was played. In that video, Officer Logicono is seen running his hands between the suspect's buttocks and along his genitals. The man can be heard on that video telling bystanders, Officer Logicono violated me as a man. The search, which happened at the corner of Brandywine and 1st Street Southeast, resulted in the arrest of the suspect for having an open container of alcohol in the car. But the internal affairs investigator testified Logicono's intrusive search at the scene was, quote, not in the scope of a field search and that even after an arrest, a search like the one on that body cam video would have been done later in a private area and not by Officer Logicono. It was early 2018 when Logicono was disciplined for that first search, the one on the cell phone video, and as punishment, he was taken out of MPD's gun recovery unit and placed back at the district level. But in a bizarre twist, a few months after he was disciplined, Logicono's father, Chris, a retired D.C. police commander and former deputy chief of internal affairs, asked current internal affairs assistant chief Alfredo Manlapaz to review his son's case in hopes of getting him placed back in the gun recovery unit. Man Lapaz went to pull the body-worn camera video of the Cottingham incident to look into it further. But instead, he stumbled upon the video of that second previously undiscovered search. Prosecutors say despite Man Lapaz's ties to the Logicono family, he, quote, felt duty bound to open an investigation. After Internal Affairs investigated that second incident, the department moved to strip Officer Sean Logicono of his badge. Do you have anything that you would like to say in your own defense, in your own standing? Uh, I'm going to say it on the stand. Um, again, I, I have no comment right now, but I, I appreciate it. So what did Officer Logicono say inside that hearing room today? Well, he never ended up testifying, but his defense team is making the case that the searches Officer Logicono was disciplined for are no different than any other searches done by MPD officers. Quote, if MPD is truly concerned about what happened, the attorney said, then MPD is going to have to overhaul the entire Narcotics and Special Investigations Division because this is what they do. Eric Flack, WUSA 9.
That hearing board has about two months to decide whether it will reverse the decision to fire Officer Logicono. In the meantime, he'll remain on the city's payroll.